What's up YouTube? So today I wanted to make a video on how to save some data by blocking apps by um, not using LTE. So basically you can restrict an application in iOS so it can't use cell phone data. This is really handy if you have a bad habit of walking out of uh, Wi-Fi areas and you're watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys I'm on iOS 9.0.2. So this will work on iOS 7, 8, and 9. I believe it even goes back into iOS 6. All you need to do is open up your settings application. If you're unsure where that is, you can swipe down on your home screen and just search for settings. Once you get into your settings application here, you're gonna be greeted at the very top with the cellular tab. And so you're gonna wanna go into cellular. This is an area that you probably want to get to know on your device. There's a few key things in here, um, including enabling or disabling cellular data. Uh, just for this video, I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off. As well as data roaming. So if you travel between countries, you may want to enable this so that you're able to use data um, in other countries. That would be the roaming. And then you can actually enable and disable LTE. So maybe you um, want to use... Uh, just the 3G network instead of the uh, LTE network. It'll save you a bit of battery, but it'll load a little slower. I like to use the LTE. Here, uh, there's data settings. You should leave those alone. Uh, and then personal hotspot. If your carrier offers a personal hotspot, that will turn your Wi-Fi, um, your phone into a Wi-Fi router. Now, what we're looking for here is the cellular data. So here, you can see my current usage. I have a 2 gig plan. Um, per month in my country here so I do have some things off because there are things like uh, the App Store for example I don't want applications downloading uh, and installing while I'm in an LTE area I can wait until I'm in a Wi-Fi zone other things like maybe AppCake I shouldn't have on as well um, other things like FaceTime so if you're out somewhere and somebody's trying to FaceTime you or maybe a FaceTime audio call you don't want those to come through you can disable this so it'll only work in a Wi-Fi zone and then other things like iTunes Store you can turn off uh, Game Center you could turn off so these are just things that'll use data um, on the cell phone network versus in a Wi-Fi zone so I have YouTube off and sometimes I turn it on in here, if you click on the other tab, you can see the services. So like your iMessage usage, uh, when your device checks for software updates, your maps, how much um, your music and all that's using for cell phone data. So you can kind of keep an eye on this here. Uh, lets you know that if you're going over on anything. And then at the very bottom here, you can actually reset your usage um, as well as Wi-Fi Assist, which I have a video for Wi-Fi Assist. Um, you should probably check in and learn about that a bit. Now... Unfortunately, there's no details in the uninstalled apps, so if you have a whole, a really a large amount of data usage here, but you're not sure what it is, you won't be able to see if you don't remember the application that used it. But hopefully this will help a lot of you save some data, uh, especially if you're on a lower plan. Every month you have to come in and reset this on your billing cycle, it doesn't automatically do it. Which is sad, because Apple could really realistically add that in, but they haven't yet. Um, so yeah, that's how you would restrict your data usage. It'll save you on your cell phone bills each month. I uh, hope that helps some of you guys out. Make sure you like this video. Comment below if you have any other questions. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more iOS 9 tutorials. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.